So this week, uh, we are going to be working on chapter 19, which is uh, adding some more functionality uh, to our web app. You are going to be adding uh, input or insert uh, forms and also edit and update forms. Uh, you'll be creating a user app in addition to the learning log app, which is all going to be connected back into that main learning log project. So you'll learn how to create another app and how to wire that up and get it connected in. And then with the users app, that is where our login and registration system is going to be. And we're gonna use uh, quite a few of the built-in features in the Django for that. Uh, we'll have to create our own templates, but we'll be able to use some of the existing views for users. So you will be learning how to do all of that this week. So for your uh, lab assignment that is built in to the lecture demo, you just need to complete the hands-on and you are pretty much going to be working with learning logs. There is no additional try it yourself exercises. Okay? It's just getting that application all set up and working. The video demos for this are in the hands-on sections and I'm currently uploading them. So they're not quite there yet, but they will be by the time you see them. Uh, so this first video covers this hands-on hands -on plus all the information above it. And then you, there's a separate video for hands-on two. Hands-on three uh, covers this editing section, which is quite short. Uh, then we get into authenticating and that's all covered in hands-on four. Okay, so um, by the time you are done with this, you will have a fully working system and just like last week, you are gonna to have to turn in screenshots. So at the very bottom, I have examples of what your screens are gonna look like. And they are not going to look very pretty at this point. Uh, we are saving all of the styling for next week. So that will be the last thing we do. We're gonna add our styling and we are going to deploy our apps. Okay, so that is all in that last chapter. So for this chapter, it's just getting everything up and working. Uh, once you finish that, you can upload those screenshots. And there is a summary in the lab assignment on what you need to turn in. And it's the same thing that's the at the bottom of the lecture demo. Uh, and then uh, you guys can start working on your last project. So the last project, uh, you're going to do your own web app using Django, and it can be on any topic that interests you. I would try to keep it fairly simple because you can always add on to it. Um, so I would keep it very simple. And if you get everything working and you, and you think, hey, I want to add something to this, uh, you can. The way that we are developing forms is pretty cool because <laughs> the Django does all the work. So unless it is a foreign key that you are adding, there is really no additional work for you uh, other than going in and, and modifying your form class and telling it that you need another field in there. Um, it's actually uh, pretty slick how it all works. So I would keep this pretty simple. Uh, and you will be creating your own app very similar to Learning Log. It can be on whatever you want. And so that's pretty much the project. I would go about doing this the same way that we are doing it um, in class with Learning Log, get all of the functionality in there, get it up and running. Uh, then we're gonna be using Bootstrap to make it look good. So I would uh, get all the functionality there. I wouldn't worry about the appearance until it works. You've got everything in it that you need. Then I would do all of the styling. Uh, your own app is also going to need the login and registration system, but what you're going to be doing is pretty much identical to learning log. So you should be able to reuse a lot of the code. Do not copy 
learning log and try to use it for this. Uh, you do need to, you know, do your own app and then, you know, add the pages. You certainly can go into learning log, log and copy and paste some of that stuff. But as far as wiring the infrastructure and all of the things for this app, you should have a clean application. Um, so once you get this thing up and running and you have it styled and you have it deployed, then you're going to do a videotape of the project and you can either run it live or you can do it offline. It does not matter to me. Uh, and this is the information that I want you to include. So, you know, how did you lay out your models? What did you do there? Uh, how are they related? How did you design your homepage and your summary and your detail pages? And why did you design them that way? Uh, talk about the bootstrap styling that you applied and why you chose the styles that you did and how you handled user authentication and what your registered users can do and what they cannot do. And what do they need to be logged in to see? Uh, then demonstrate how to use your app and describe any problems you encountered and explain how you resolve them. Uh, then, uh, because we're going to be doing very simple apps, you may have some ideas about what you would like to do in the future. So share those future plans with us. And then you're gonna post your video to the discussion forum. And I also would like a link to your live app so your classmates can go out and register and use the app and see what it does. So that is our last project. And we're getting a head start on this. It is not due until the 20th. So we are uh, getting ahead of this so that we can get everything set up and in place. Okay, so uh, that is what you're gonna be working on. That is why I did not give you any additional assignments other than going through learning log. Uh, for those of you who are thinking, Man, there are a lot of commands uh, in Django. I got a hold of the textbook author's cheat sheet. And so hopefully this will help you uh, remember all of those commands. Okay, and there are several pages of cheat sheets. Okay, so hopefully that will help you. And in addition to all of that, some of you have been asking about the MTA exam. Um, and so we are still making this uh, optional. It is not um, going to be included in the total points for this class. So instead of 1,000 points, we have 900 points. And that is basically because um, there are people in our class who would like to be vaccinated and who are not comfortable going to a testing center until they are vaccinated. And so um, I think uh, we're about 50% of Traverse City is vaccinated at this point, not fully vaccinated, um, but a lot of people who would like to be are not, have not had the opportunity. So the exam is optional. Um, if you would like to take it, you can take it any time before fall semester. So that means for those of you who are waiting to get vaccinated, you should be able to get vaccinated and still, if you wanna take this test, you can still go in and take it. Now, what you have to do if you want to take it um, is you need to go to the professional testing center, uh, which is in the parsons Stulens building, and you are gonna have to schedule the exam ahead of time. Um, and you know, until COVID is not an issue, I think that they're still going to enforce social distancing. So there's a phone number and an email that you can use to schedule. Uh, testing times are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Latest you can start a test is 2 p.m. And there's additional information here. I have uh, uploaded the exam objectives which is your study guide for taking this test because all of the questions on the test come directly from these objectives. So the sub-objectives, I would expect to see all of those things on the test. I can tell you I've reviewed this test. I am a 
consultant for Certiport. I have looked at every question on the test and they do match up to the objectives. Um, having said that, I will be adding to study resources before the semester is over. Um, I just have to have a little extra free time to dig around and find them all. <laughs> so keep checking back because I will be adding to this as time permits. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns about the MTA or about what we are working on this week, please let me know and have a great week.